So just give you guys a front row of Flint, Michigan here. This is this is intense. guys we we interviewed some interviewed him he said once this Flint Michigan was the richest city in the country at one time Pastor Bobby Jackson. Pastor Bobby Jackson. Pastor Bobby Jackson goes into the city of, or the mission of hope. And his pipes, he, his water got turned off. Because so, his, the were so, high. so the other thing uh, Pastor Bobby said is that they dump garbage here in town. And they come out here and dump garbage. I mean, we seen on the other side, it was clean. It is very clean. But people will come out here and dump their garbage. So Tina was just sharing about um, that before the water crisis, they had jacked up the prices. One of the people she interviewed was sharing with her and that um, Pastor Bobby didn't pay his water bill. And because of that, his pipes were protected. And so he's got um, good drinking water from his. And he didn't realize it was a blessing at the time. But it's like a scary movie here. Like Children of the Corn. <laughs> it is. This is yeah. like Walking Dead. The Walking Dead here. They, this was where you can do the first episode of Walking Dead. Nobody here. You guys are witnessing Flint, Michigan, guys. This is Flint, Michigan. What is oh, look, this? there's a greenhouse. Celebrating the life of Caroline Meekin. The Edible Flint Food Garden Tour. A food garden right here. To start. And right over there is the water. Yeah. So the pasture, uh, Bobby, also has. Uh, they started a little food garden. Which Turn they left they onto just, Houghton Avenue. They just used the rain as the water. And here's the famous Flint, Michigan. House for sale. Let include. Look at this sign. Up what here. does it say? Oh, let me get out. Yeah, you gotta get that picture. Lead included? Yep. Yeah, guys. House for sale, lead included. Oh my god, no way. Wow, look at that. Wow. That's nuts. House for sale, lead included. All right, relatives, I'm gonna get off for now. Just an update on Flint, Michigan. Even though they had hard times, they helped Standing Rock. A lot of the people came down that had the water issues here, knew what to expect. They also have, um, from what we understand, is filtration systems coming in from all the water protectors that are here. They're, they're in the homes. And there's also, what we, what we found out is uh, people have been coming up here and help fundraising for uh, filtration systems for Standing Rock so something else you know there, there's there's a lot of cooperation here uh, a lot of people have water issues similar issues of protecting the water and um, we spoke with uh, several people who know of people coming up this way and going back down that way and just sharing information and sharing each other's struggles and the solutions to get out of those struggles struggles yeah yeah I'm gonna do a hip-hop for Flint uh, where they have a whole bunch of hip hop acts. They make a car like uh... Yeah guys. In the future we're gonna have to make yeah. our vehicles so that we, we don't get zapped. So so uh, Tina was filming and her phone got hit and it died and then my phone died the same time as her phone. Right, right off the bat. Yep. Right off the bat. Two phones died just like that and I had a, I had a probably 60% battery life and all of a sudden I have no battery. This is a little similar to Standard Rock. 
but we're going to continue to show and document. Yeah, that's another thing that uh, Jess or Edith just brought up, that there's no animals here. Uh, we haven't seen a dog. We haven't seen a squirrel. That's right. No birds. No birds. We're in The Walking Dead. This is weird. This yeah. is uh, this is capitalism at its finest, guys. These guys yeah. are the richest town in America. Now they have nothing. They were the richest town of America with the uh, car industry here. A lot going on. All right, let's get on the road. Yeah, yeah. yeah before we get attacked by zombies. <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you. I'm yeah. telling you. And that's not a diss to the people. Love the people here. Yeah. I mean, real life zombies. Well, think about it. Like, there's lead in the pipes, so, and now they're putting chemicals in. Oh like, yeah. They might actually create zombies. Like, they might create superbugs. So the the houses haven't had their water flush in a while. Some of these abandoned houses, which are creating superbugs. Some of these pipes have just been totally taken out. They've taken out the gas pipes. They've taken out the water pipes. This is creepy. Yeah, it is creepy. Look at that. Nobody. No kids, no bikes, no, no one on a bike. I just lost all my footage. I haven't seen one garden in anybody's house. Mattresses, just chilling. Well, relatives, so this one will get saved. Uh, the last video guy just zapped out. It reminded me of Standing Rock when it happened at Standing Rock. Mm -hmm. You know, you just get boom, you get hit. And That's what happens when you tell the truth. Uh, two phones at once. Not a coincidence. All right, relatives, sending many blessings to you guys. Uh, a lot of hospitality here in Flint, Michigan, from relatives here, water protectors here. Thank you guys for your support here in Flint. Thank you guys for your solidarity. And um, we'll continue to do what we can to send information your way. Met beautiful people here, pastures um, that have been handling pantries and food for people, handling water, um, and giving hope to the community that there's a place for them to go and and get on, get on the job, get job, um, get on the internet and research for jobs and having a warm meal, you know, getting their clothes washed. Very, very beautiful place and good people to be around and that community gathering is the best thing. Community sharing and unity is powerful. We're gonna be going here. I'm gonna let this last one be the Flint water tower as we're going to continue to go by here which will be great as well with villages that's it we're ready to head head ready on the road getting ready to go see our relatives down there the next resistance camp this one's a dakota access resistance camp Sending blessings to the city of Flint and all the people and residents here. Yes, thank you for your hospitality, for your warmth. Appreciate you. Governor Snyder needs to do right by his people.